Hi, welcome back to Cooking with Joe and Pat. We're gonna do some little mini classes, just you know, five or 10 minute things that you can do for the holidays or just for yourself to make your, you know, your glass of wine on the holidays taste a little oh, yeah. more special. Always a glass of wine. Excellent, delicious, easy, it's things that you can keep around the house. And we're gonna to start today with a Tuscan bean hummus. Um, it's very similar in texture to other hummus, but it's my favorite and it takes very little ingredients. Now, we're gonna use some cannellini beans. Cannellini, canned beans are one of the best canned products you can get. Mm -hmm. There's some, some things where you think, why would I buy a can? Canned beans, canned tomatoes, and canned pumpkin are ex excellent. The liquid that comes with it is actually just water and a little bit of salt because they cook it right in the can. They process it that. just like you okay. would do it at home. Now, with some things you might wanna use it because it helps to thicken up. We don't want that today, so I'm gonna go ahead and strain this. All I'm gonna do is dump the can into here, run a little water over it, shake the water off. Okay. And Joe, while I'm doing that, do you wanna yeah. chop up some rosemary? Sure. This is actually fresh rosemary from my garden. This is from your, oh wow. Yeah. Rosemary grows on a, a woody stalk. Best way to get the rosemary off the stalk is just to hold it at one end and just slowly pull your hand down, and you get leaves. Rosemary has such a, 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 a beautiful, tiny smell. It's a favorite of it's, mine. Yeah, it's, it, and it, it's a very strong herb, um, but it also really enhances the flavor of whatever dish you're putting it in. And then we're going to chop it up. And I have just rinsed the beans, drained it. You see that took a second and put it into a small food processor. You could put it in a large one that you can make as much of this as you want. I'm gonna give it a pulse just to break it up a little while Joe's. Hopefully I am. There we go. Because it'll make the rest go in easier. So lemon, rosemary, garlic, that's what makes it Tuscan, right? That's right, Tuscan all has the all ones. these good tastes. You go to Tuscany I, and I've had Fortunate, I've been fortunate enough to be able to go to Tuscany and in the Tuscan region. And when they tell you it smells like lemon, it does. Everywhere you go, you can see lemons, the smell of the lemon, lemons in everything, lemoncello. I love lemons. And we're very homegrown today because this is from my lemon tree. Too. I have really? A, we have a small lemon. Can you smell it? We have a small oh, wow. lemon tree that my husband babies, it's in the house now for the winter, but the lemons are just getting ripe. So I brought one of our fresh lemons for you. Oh, and what I'm doing is taking some of the zest off. We've used this I feel honored. I, I'm very protective of my lemons. Uh, always... When you wait all year for them, you, you know, you really, but it's a great, great tree to have. And it makes me very excited with the lemon blossoms. Yeah. So the, the microplane, you can see I'm scraping off the zest and immediately you get that flavor. The um, smell. And we're not taking the white. See how the white pith is there? That part is a little bitter. Adding the zest will just burst the flavor for you. So we're gonna put that in. That's a beautiful job of chopping, Joe. And sure. rosemary is a, is a woody type of herb, so you really do want it fine. You don't want any, not like basil where you'll put big pieces of it on right. or something. You, you want nice. And when you chop it, you're opening up the leaves and the oils within the leaves are re is released. And that's the flavor. That's right. So I'm going to put this right into our food processor. I'm going to put your beautiful rosemary in. First time I knew we could grow rosemary here was actually we we're in San Diego and we were walking in the old town I thought oh, I smell rosemary and I realized the herb that the border was the bushes rosemary. was all rosemary and it was wow. all in full bloom so of course we came home and I'm like I need a <laughs> I need a rosemary, I need a rosemary. Here, I have a give us so we're going to put some garlic in too and I'm just gonna mince it a little. You could just chop it, you could just smash it because the food processor does most of the work here. You can put in as much garlic as you want. I love garlic. It adds a I lot, love, doesn't it? We have, Pat and I have a friend that cannot stand garlic and doesn't use it in any of her cooking. And she's a really good cook. Yeah, it always exactly. surprises me. We'll put in a... If you're watching this, you know who you are. <laughs> 
but she's a good cook, but yeah, she just can't stand it. So we're putting in there. And again, this is a one, these are two of the best gadgets you can get in your kitchen. Oh yeah. We don't need a lot of fancy stuff, but these are two of the best. You can see it takes all of it. So we've put in the garlic, we've put in our beans, we've put in the lemon, we've put in the rosemary. You wanna do a grind or two of salt? Sure. And then we'll see, beans actually do, beans like potatoes can use some salt because they don't have that flavoring in it. So we may be adding more as we taste it. I'll give it a quick pulse and then we'll add some olive oil. I already smelled the garlic in it when uh, we And you see, it's basically just mixing it now. So we're going to put in some olive oil. A quarter cup is about four tablespoons. Do you want to just, we can just eyeball it too, or we can use the tablespoons if you like. We're yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll do it the way we should. One, two, three. We can always add more. We can always add more. We can always add more salt. We can always add more of everything. But now we're going to let it just run a minute. Or... It's always a pleasure to get the mountain back. We're going to let it run a minute. You can see it's mixing because the little rosemary is wheeling around. And you can see it's getting a little fluffier. Yeah, it's getting creamy. So let's take a look here. Oh, yeah, it's looking pretty good. Yeah, see how it's creamed and emulsified? Looks great. Taste it, John. Let's see if we need more salt. Oh, I think it's pretty no. good. It's pretty good. It's it needs perfect. to be just a little creamier because I can taste a, li I feel a little of the... A little bit of the bean. So this is delicious as a dip. Delicious as a spread. Think about using it instead of mayonnaise. It makes a great sandwich. It makes oh, a yeah. great sandwich by itself. And in France, and not in France, in Belgium, they their restaurants, I'm gonna use the other end here. Their restaurants um, serve something called tatans. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Is that good? Yeah. I get took my Took my thought away, it was so good. Um, which are open-faced toasted bread sandwiches, sort of like a bruschetta. Uh -huh. And one of the most popular is a hummus with tuna fish on it. Really? Yes. And it doesn't sound like it would be great. It's great. If you want to make a mayonnaise-free tuna fish salad, try using this with it. The flavors are amazing. We can take a little sprig of this garlic and dress it up if we're having a party. The other thing is this, as well as hummus, is freezable. So is it really? You, if you wanted to make a big batch of it and freeze parts of, you know, maybe make four or five cans in your big processor, freeze some of it so you always have some. There we go. You have some some nutcrackers. We can put this on the plate. Now we look where. Now it's a party. Now we're now we're having a party. Okay. Now for the rest. And again, what was that, three or four minutes, maybe? Not even. What do you think? You're pretty good, huh? A lemon burst in your mouth. A lemon makes it, yes. And it, it tastes less muddy than regular hummus, I think, because it doesn't have the tahini. No, it's a yeah. very bright flavor to it. You can taste the rosemary. You can taste the lemon. Neither one is overpowering. No. And the creaminess of the of the beans just makes it so much so, so it's, interesting. It's really nice. It's a great party dip. It's a great um, sandwich spread. It would make a great lunch with some vegetables. I'm going to have another taste. I hope so. And now we're going to have some wine and finish it off. So thank you for showing up. We have some more easy appetizers for the holidays coming up. And they will be sort of surprisingly spread around the internet. Yeah, we'll put them up and we'll let you know. Thank you. Thank you.